Now let's look at one of our other voting methods. Three candidates, A, B, and C, are running for mayor of a small town. The results of the election are shown in the following preference table. Here we want to determine the winner using the border count method. To use the border count method, we're going to be tallying up points according to the choices. Third choice will only receive one point. Second choice will receive two points. And first choice will receive three points. Now we'll take the number of votes and multiply times the number of points in each case. So we're going to multiply 3 times 1,200 to give A 3,600 votes in this column. 2 times 1,200 is 2,400. 1 times 1,200 is 1,200. And let's continue with our other columns. 3 times 900 is 2,700. 2 times 900 is 1,800. And 1 times 900 is 900. Continuing on, notice we have another 900, so we're going to have the same values repeated. That is 2,700, 1,800, and 900. In our last column, 3 times 600 gives us 1,800. 2 times 600 is 1,200. And 1 times 600 is 600. Now we're going to tally up our points. So let's start off with candidate A. We're going to run through each column and write down the number of votes that we see for the candidate. So in our first column, we notice that we have 3,600 votes for candidate A. In our next column, we have 1,800 votes. In the next column, A gets 900 votes. And in our last column, A gets 1,200 votes. And so combining those values gives us 7,500 points. Now let's look at B. In our first column, B will get 2,400 points. Next column, B gets 900 points. Next column, B gets 2,700 points. Last column, B gets 1,800 points. Adding that together gives B 7,800 points. And candidate C from the first column will get 1,200 points. From the next, 2,700 points. Next, 1,800 points. And last, 600 points. And that totals 6,300 points. Our winner will be the one with the most points. Notice this occurs for candidate B.